Hello, good morning. This is Siva Devaki from uh, Mass Mailer. Thank you so much for uh, joining the webinar today. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a very simple feature, but uh, uh, you know, very important. Uh, that's called A/B testing. Uh, if you are a Mass Mailer customer, I'm sure you must have uh, seen an option to do A/B testing, but uh, uh, you may or may not know how this would really work. Uh, so I thought maybe it is um, very essential for me to talk about this feature and um, do a quick summary and also a quick demo. Uh, so just to summarize how this A-B testing feature works. Uh, so you may have um, uh, seen this in other email service uh, acquires or email softwares in which uh, if you want to kind of identify uh, which or uh, find out which uh, template is actually going to work uh, better for you. Um, you know, you could uh, basically do a test uh, for a sample recipient list and uh, see which one is performing better. And then you can decide uh, later on uh, which one you actually want to send out to the real people, right? Uh, so it works the same way in Mass Pillar as well, uh, but there's um, a little bit more difference. Uh, we not only let you change the email subject, we also let you change the email template as well. Meaning, uh, so if you decide to do A-B testing, uh, you will be given an option way in which uh, the template A uh, can be uh, different from template B completely. Uh, unlike most of other uh, softwares, I think uh, they may just let you change only the email subject, but we uh, let you change both. Um, so that's the fundamental difference, uh, how Mass Miller really does the A-B testing. And when it comes to uh, sending out uh, emails, uh, again, it's a very simple thing. We basically split um, the recipients in two, meaning let's say you got 10K recipients. Uh, so the initial five, not the initial, uh, we go alternate. So basically 5K will receive uh, template A, and now uh, rest of the 5K will receive template B. And we just go alternate, uh, you know, uh, basically recipient one would receive uh, template A and recipient two will receive template B. Uh, that's how we kind of um, uh, go in series and then uh, we break it up into half. Um, and we do have uh, a report available for uh, A-B testing compression, meaning like, uh, you know, how did my template A perform versus uh, template B, you will be able to compare that as well. Um, and we also provide uh, the statistics such as open and click uh, that are again, uh, depending on, you know, how many you got on template A and how many you got on template B, you'll be able to look at it on the outreach as well um, for both template A and template B. Uh, so these are, uh, you know, various features that are uh, kind of um, in line with the A-B testing feature. Uh, so I'll just show you a couple of screenshots here. So um, if you are familiar with Outreach Wizard again uh, in the step, this email template step, uh, where you will see A-B testing on the top, uh, if you enable that, it automatically brings up another uh, the template option, which is called the uh, alternate template. So basically the main template, which is, uh, you know, let's call it as template A and the alternate template, which is template B. Uh, so you will have to select uh, both the templates and uh, you got to save and then, you know, move on. Uh, so that's uh, very simple. Um, and then uh, outreach statistics, as I mentioned, uh, if you ever noticed uh, the outreach stats, uh, the three columns, the total count uh, and the template A count and template B count. Uh, we kind of split uh, between these two uh, templates um, and then you'll be able to know um, at a camp, at a, an outreach or a campaign level, you'll come to know the stats, um, you know, right up front. Uh, and then when it comes to the report, again, there's a A-B testing report that's available. Uh, you can uh, filter that for a specific campaign uh, and as you can see, the last call and the last one, it has template A and template B, both of them. Uh, and you can see the comparison about, uh, right there. Uh, that uh, kind of gives you um, kind of an idea which one is actually performing better. Okay. So now let's take a quick look at the demo here. So if I go to Mask Mailer. 
So this is the outreach wizard. So if you start from outreach wizard, this is the first thing that you would see. And then I would uh, select a, a target audience. I'm going to go send it to contact. And I would send it to say, say our contacts. So there are four recipients, as you can see, and this is some of the duplicates, which is okay. And then um, here is where the A-B testing option is. So if you activate this, then you see that the alternate template uh, has come up. So what I'll do, I'll go select a, a folder and a template here. So let's say um, uh, I'll go with the demo on Kabait. Uh, so that's one of the templates that I'm selecting. Um, and then um, I would go to alternate template and then select another template there. So let's select a, a different template. So now I got two different templates that I selected. Um, and then um, the subject will be different. And again, if you want to select the same template but change the subject, that's not a problem, it's all up to you. Uh, but this is just to show you how to select different templates. So we got this one and this uh, template is different. So I save both of them and then I go to the next step. Uh, so we'll keep going. Um, just with the defaults and then next step so you got an option to send now so non-transactional so we'll just go with the default options there and then we're just going to launch it so um click on this button a launch and then say yes So that basically would create a campaign and we must have received emails as well. I'm just gonna go refresh this. So this is the outreach that uh, holds your campaign information, including statistics. As you can see, total count is four, but uh, template A is two and template B is two. So uh, it cannot split those two. Uh, if you click on this, <clears throat> it would actually come to know uh, which ones are related to template A versus template B. Okay. So you have that option as well. Um, so that's the statistics and I'm actually gonna go to my inbox and uh, take a look. So I got a uh, happy holidays subject. I got uh, two of them. And then I got two of them here. Uh, this is a different subject. And now let's take a quick look at the report. So I have this report open. Um, you know, this may be uh, reporting the ones that I ran yesterday. So it's not a problem, but it still gives you the information about uh, uh, how each one actually is performing. Uh, so just go refresh this and then So I'm also gonna go copy this as well. Okay, so uh, you can see that this is the one that I ran yesterday, but if I want to actually bring in the ones that I just ran today, I could always go filter. So this is something that you could do your own. Uh, you could filter based on the template name and apply. And then uh, save and run. Uh, that should basically bring up the ones that I just executed today, and along with someone else. I mean, some other campaigns that may have. Uh, okay, so there's only one. So as you can see, the delivered and processed. Uh, uh, I got two of them, uh, two each, and that's how you basically uh, can run this. And now you can add other events as well. I think, uh, yeah. So you can always add other events too if needed, right? Uh, so that's how the uh, the report actually would work. Um, and since it's a standard report of Salesforce, you can always customize the way you want it, uh, not a problem. All right, so that's uh, pretty much it. Any questions? So as far as reporting goes with the 
a b testing just looking at this if i wanted to also dive a little deeper as far as opens or clicks based off mm -hmm. template a or template b that's also possible correct mm -hmm. yeah so right here so even if you go here this will give you the click through report uh, but you can always customize uh, the report that we have provided to you because those are all standard reports so this will give you template a and template b um, okay. click through reports. yeah and can you do a b testing through a list view like if you were to send through a list view rather than mm -hmm. yeah the, okay uh, you could do it so basically the outreach wizard is the common component right so if you were to come from uh, a list view so for example go to the sales app and then if you have a list view there uh say for contacts and then and from there so let's say My list. Let's select this. Okay, there are two, and then you just do send via mass mailer. That basically takes you to the outreach wizard. Perfect. And it's the same flow. There's no difference. So when you go to the email template uh, step, you will see the option uh, to actually do the A/B testing. Okay, so I can. Wonderful. Yeah. Any other questions? Not, not from me, thank you. All right. So we are enhancing A-B testing a uh, little bit more further. That's coming very soon. So you'll be able to preview both the emails, um, you know, uh, template A and template B in the uh, final step that's called review. Uh, and also the send test uh, option, uh, you will have an option to actually select a uh, template A and uh, our template B when you're actually doing the real test. So those enhancements are coming very soon as well. Um, so that'll be available for all the customers uh, when we upgrade you to the new batch. Okay, so also when you're doing an A-B test, I know that you can test the email deliverability. Is that what you're talking about? In the future, you'd be able to test both A and B mm -hmm. as far as their deliverability, okay. Um, so you're right. So there are three places where we are adding that um, uh, the template and template B. Uh, so one is the preview. Um, in the final step, uh, let me actually show you what I meant. Uh, so let's just turn it off for a moment. And I would just go uh, just do a quick demo. Uh, just to, sh uh, to show you what uh, those changes would be. Uh, so this is where we're going. So one of it is the preview. So right now uh, you have an option to do a preview way in which uh, it just shows you one template. Uh, so you'll be able to do template A and template B right here. This is one change. And uh, send test, again, right now, there's no way to select which template it is. It just sends a test. It's taking the default one, the first one. But you will, you will have an option to select uh, template A, template B. Um, and then there's another place, uh, it's called test deliverability. Uh, even there also, we will provide you an option to select template A and template B. So those are the three areas that we are actually gonna make the enhancements uh, very soon. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. All right, any final questions? Not for me, that was wonderful, thank you. All right, thank you so much for joining the webinar today. Uh, appreciate it. This is a, a weekly webinar. I uh, try to be consistent um, when I'm uh, when I'm mostly working. If I'm off, uh, then it may be, you know, um, yeah, um, basically I may skip a few sessions, but I try to be consistent every Thursday. Uh, so uh, it is scheduled at uh, 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. Pacific based on uh, the uh, time zone difference and the daylight savings uh, uh, timing change. And if you're new to uh, Mass Mailer, feel free to install a trial. Uh, happy to get you on a trial and help you. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, here's the contact information. Uh, send us an email or call us anytime. Uh, we also have a YouTube channel. All these videos are posted to our YouTube channel. Feel free to just type in Mass Mailer in YouTube and you'll find that channel and subscribe to it. 
Um, we'll also post them on our website and uh, the support portal as well. And the next week's topic would be published on our website as well as it will be sent to uh, the email list that we have. And if you're not part of our email list, feel free to join uh, from our website. So you can actually get to know our next week, uh, uh, the topic as well. So again, thank you so much for joining the webinar. Have a great day, have a great evening.